This is what to eat on a gluten-free diet. Damn, it's fucking labels are hard to see. Well, anyway, the cheese does have a gluten-free label. This is from all these. I like all these because there's stuff. Ugh, it's marked really good. Cheese. Where's the label on the... That, that, that. I'm about to eat now. I can't eat that crap without this. Those are really good and they're really high in calories. So that may help you not lose so much weight. Because if you're not eating bread and shit, you're going to lose weight. What the fuck is the label? God damn. There it is, fucking thing. Gluten free. I don't buy shit unless it says gluten free. Ugh. Yeah, they told me two years ago that I was intolerant to gluten. And, um, I, you know, I didn't believe them. Yeah, so then I started getting, uh, well, actually, I'm sure I had symptoms back then, but I was just ignoring them, but I started getting hardcore symptoms on November 17th, uh, November 17th when I was at the bookstore, and that's when I knew, and, um, yeah, I, I'll do a video about all the symptoms I, I had been having. But what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something, dang it, I forgot. Ah, oh, crap, I don't want this video to get too long. Um. Yeah, I started getting hardcore symptoms. Hopefully, um, now I don't know if I actually have celiac disease, but hopefully I haven't done, if I have any permanent damage done, then yeah, that's considered celiac disease. But if you don't, if it's not, da if it didn't damage like your lower intestine or whatever, Supposedly, you just have, um, it's the same damn thing. I mean, celi celiac disease and gluten intolerance is the same damn thing. It's just, um, gluten intolerant people, they still can't ever eat it again. And, uh, they possibly, you know, don't have any damage. They don't have, like, some... I mean, I don't understand. They both would be freaking autoimmune. I mean, if you're eating something and you're getting all these symptoms, then your body is trying to attack something. So anyway, it's the same fucking thing. Don't listen to anybody. It's the same thing. It's pretty much the same damn thing. Both people cannot ever eat gluten again, whether you're celiac, I mean, celiac disease or gluten intolerance. It's the same freaking thing. Just a couple different definitions or whatever. And I doubt I'm going to go get a test done or whatever. I mean, I will if it's not going to involve, oh, you got to eat five gluten crackers over the next two weeks. It's like, fuck you. That's, um, that's barbaric. I'm not going to do that to my body. And what I was going to say was somebody on YouTube made a comment. It's, they said they're jealous of people that can eat gluten. And, um, they said... It's like we're aliens from another fucking planet. And I'm like, oh yeah, that is so fucking true. Yeah, they need to take all the people that consider themselves alien hybrids and see how many of them have food intolerances. Because I bet you it's going to be a lot. 
But I don't really believe in aliens from another planet. I only believe in interdimensional. I don't believe there's any other planets where there's physical life, except for, you know, maybe bugs or gnats or something. Amoebas or whatever. I guess they're physical. I don't know. But yeah, I don't believe in aliens of another planet, meaning physical. I only believe in interdimensional. So yeah, if they're on another planet, the, uh, you know, it's still interdimensional. They're ethereal. They're non-physical. If they're on another, most of those other planets, you know, or I don't know, solar systems are probably, truth be known, in another dimension anyway. They're not physical. 